Hey YouTube, this is Facial with Simply Lavish at Home, and today I am joined by my friend John Coffee, who does a blog called Pictures of Me Eating Sandwiches. So I thought it was adorable, and of course I had to have him come in and make some sandwiches <laughs> with me. Hey, hey John, tell me about your blog. Why did you even start that? Uh, you know, I had a friend who um, she uh, took some pictures of of random things and she was like these are just she was showing me one day and she's like these are just pictures of me doing this and these are pictures of me doing this and so then I pulled out my phone and I had a picture of me eating a sandwich and I was like oh I take pictures of me eating sandwiches and that is it and that's it and that is it so <laughs> I think sandwiches are a really underrated way to entertain folks so of course I had to have this adorable face <laughs> with me on YouTube to make some sandwiches check it out so we have our sliced turkey, our locally baked wheat bread, it's an Italian wheat bread and we used it because it is nice and thick and hearty and will stand up well to being cooked into a grilled cheese. Um, cranberry sauce, the kind that you get for Thanksgiving, um, usually I'd make that kind of thing but why bother, just got it out of a can. Uh, we have some aged white cheddar cheese which will contrast nicely with the sweetness of the cranberry sauce because this is a sharp cheddar. Um, for our mayo lovers out there, we have some mayo and butter. So who does not love grilled cheese? And today we are going to make a turkey cranberry grilled cheese, which is going to be so good and put us in the mind of Thanksgiving and how we can't wait for that to come. And I have two ways that we can cook. We can do it on the stovetop on my stovetop griddle, or you can pull out that ancient machine, your George Foreman grill that I've had for a hundred years. You probably have one too, especially if you're over 30, <laughs> um, that you haven't used in forever. But it's a great way to make press sandwiches like paninis and grilled cheese sandwiches really quick because of course you know it grills from both sides. So today, I'm not even sure which one we're going to use at this point, but one of those will be used to make our grilled cheese. So now we're going to get into making our sandwiches. Um, now this sandwich was your idea, uh, and so tell me about this one. So I've never actually had uh, this kind of sandwich done as a grilled, as like a grilled cheese style like we're going to do. Um, I actually, this, came, this idea came from a cafe I used to go to in uh, Sevierville, Tennessee. Um, there was a woman there. She owned a little coffee shop called Cobblers, and she did a she did a sandwich that had, um, you know, lettuce and uh, tomato and uh, uh, turkey and cranberry sauce. And that was the first time I'd had a sandwich with turkey and cranberry. And so when we were talking about doing sandwiches, I was like, oh, well, let's do let's do so a version of that and do a grilled version. Okay. Okay. So yeah. I'm excited. Right now, I'm buttering the outside oh. of my bread. Oh, it's nice and soft. Yeah. If it's too cold, it's really hard to spread on bread, especially I, like fancy bread. I keep my breading butter out. Butter doesn't spoil. Yeah. So I leave it out if I'm not, if I'm using this for stuff like butter and bread, like we're doing right now. Oh, but that's like nice. my baking butter, uh -huh. I keep that cold until um, I'm ready to bake. <laughs> and this is unsalted butter. No, this actually has salt. This is actually Irish butter, like the fancy. Oh, fancy oh this sounds butter. so good. So this is salted. I keep. I only use salted butter for stuff like this. Oh, like nice. I bake with unsalted butter, but I can use this. And you can see we're being very generous <laughs> <laughs> with our butter. It's so good. Okay. Here, so oh yeah. Pinch. There we go. And then I'm gonna go in with the shredded cheese. Um, I don't buy shredded cheese because it usually has an additive on the outside. Oh, I didn't know that. That stops it from clumping together. Oh. Because this has only been out for a little while. You can see it's already it's clumping. It's starting to clump. Oh, that makes sense. So, um, I always shred my own cheese. Nice. I'm going to put mayonnaise on mine. Because you're a mayonnaise guy. I'm I not love mayonnaise. mayonnaise. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a mayonnaise lover. Don't um, shoot me. Well, and it has to be, it has to be mayonnaise. It can't be, I don't do Miracle Whip. Not on a sandwich. And then I'm going to go in with my cranberry sauce. I feel like we can also leave more cheese. 
Well, I'm putting mayonnaise on one side and I'm going to put the cheese on the other. And maybe that'll, I don't know, my idea is maybe that'll hold it all together, all the stuff on the inside together. So I am spreading my cranberry sauce on the other side of the bread. I think this is going to be so good. And this is deli counter meat cut at like a medium thickness. Yep. And it looks, it looks just like it's got like a great texture to it. Yeah, because it, it could be too. really questionable with deli. <laughs> <laughs> with deli style. And go for like a go for like a mid to high range with the deli style because they have some shady kind of stuff that you yeah. know, boil the turkey and <laughs> no, you want a good oven roasted turkey. Nice. Oh, I forgot there was butter on the underside of that and it stuck my hand all over the butter. <laughs> and I literally just put the butter in my mouth on camera like that. I'm only touching my own food, so right? it's okay. <laughs> Um, and then we have the griddle heating. So we're gonna get these on the griddle and pretty soon we'll be ready to eat. Awesome. So we have our sandwiches over the heat, like a medium heat. You can probably hear some residual noise. That's actually my exhaust fan. But we have it going over medium heat to give it time to melt and get all incorporated and yummy. And we'll pretty soon be ready for our grilled cheese sandwiches. That's nice. It's so good. And here we have our finished grilled cheese sandwiches with that cheese just oozing out the side. Plated it real simply with some terra chips. Um, I like the combination with the sweet potatoes and the yuca and the beets. And we are very excited to eat and take a selfie eating sandwiches. We had such an awesome time making this video. Yes, we did. And hopefully you liked it too. Give this video a thumbs up and leave your comments below. Also, John, go ahead and plug your website and blog. So you can find a link to this video and to the actual selfies on my uh, blog at picturesofmeeatingsandwiches.com or for short, P-O-M-E-S dot me. I am going to leave the URL link below. And if you have not already, Hit that subscribe button and that little bell that you know every time Simpy Lavish posts a video. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, here's to living Simpy Lavishly. Cheers. There you go.